You've already done that shit, and you have to do something new that inspires you yeah. and makes you excited about being alive, and uh, and not just trying to rehash where you've been before. And so every time we play a new place, it's fucking exciting because even if we come back to Brussels again in a year and we play, when we come back to Brussels at some point, you know maybe we'll be playing for more people, but it's not more exciting than the first time you do some shit because. You know, I don't care if we're downstairs playing for thousands of people. You know, we're here in a country that we've never been to and fucking selling that shit out. I don't care how big the world is. Several, several years ago, I was playing coffee shops doing spoken word poetry. And I know, like, I had a, I had a video that got really big, like, two years ago. And people say, man, I saw your first video. That's really cool. But for five years before that, I was trying to be successful, you know, I was doing shit under the radar and I was playing at little colleges and universities and for crowds that were small, but for, you know, people that I got to do what I loved. And so the fact that I get to do this with my friends and, you know, perform for you guys, we're fucking living the dream right now and I really appreciate you guys coming out. If you're somebody who's got your own thing that you're working towards, then if it's not happening for you right now, don't worry that you're not in the place you want to be, because all the people who you look up to who are where you want to be had years of failure and embarrassment that's not the most obvious thing because you see their successes. So like, you know, don't knock yourself if you got some shit you're working towards, you know, you, you may be on the right track and you're on the way. So that brings me to my next point, which is I'm not a philosopher. I don't know more things than you do. I don't know more things than the next guy. But what I do know is that it's important in life to find a balance between caring and not caring. And what I mean by that is you have to care about some things. Because if you care about nothing, then you end up a stoner living in your parents' basement and or probably getting eaten by a bear because a bear runs at you and you're like, I'll fucking care and the bear fucking eats you because you're an idiot. You know? So so there's things that you have to care about if you're going to live in this world. Um, but, with that being said, if you care too much, you end up stressing yourselves out, and you care about stuff that's not important. Stuff that's out of your control. So you have to learn to not care about shit that's out of your control and shit that's not worth caring about. And this is called the yin and yang of fucks. And I just came up with that phrase right now in this very moment. So put that in the next Buddhist handbook. Because I have a feeling there's a lot of people out here who give a fuck about the right things, but I also know because of how fucking hard you go that there's a lot of people who really on a certain very, very deep carnal level really just don't give a fuck at all. Oh, 